To bring this session to a close, I'd like to introduce our third extremely distinguished keynote speaker, uh, Jun Zhao. Uh, Jun Zhao holds a master's in chemical engineering from Northwestern Polytechnical University. Uh, he entered the display industry in 1997. In 2018, he joined Wuhan China Star Optoelectronics Technology, uh, or CSOT, serving as the general manager and director of the board. Since 2023, he has served as the CEO at TCL CSOT. Uh, Mr. Zhao has profound experience in quality assurance, supply chain management, and overall corporate operations, and has led the company through various market challenges. Um, he has strategically positioned the company in the global market with a focus on cutting edge inkjet printing of OLED and QLED. Uh, with his extraordinary leadership, the company has established an exclusive world-leading OLED, QLED, inkjet printing production line to fulfill breakthroughs in key aspects of this technology. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Jun Zhao. Thanks for chairman for your kind introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm Jun Zhao from TCL CSOT. It's a great honor for me to share with you today the future of the display industry. Now we are in the heart of California, a vibrant hub of inno innovation. I'm inspired by the analyst possibilities that lie ahead. It's no coincidence that CSOT's innovation in display technology is also driven by the same values. Firstly, please allow me to briefly introduce CSOT in three words. First of all, rapid growth. This year, CSOT will celebrate its 15th anniversary. Since the established of the company, we will maintain the average annual growth rates of more than 20%, making CSOT one of the leading enterprises with the second largest capacity and the first largest revenue. Secondly, comprehensive solution. We produce display panels from one to 115 inches, from LCD to OLED to MLED. We offer solutions to all applications, including TVs, mobile phones, tablets, laptops, monitors, automotives, XRs, wearables, commercial displays, and other fields. We currently lead the market in some of them. Thirdly, global footprint. With manufacturing bases and customer service networks spanning major countries worldwide, we are proud to be a China-based global enterprise with over 60% of our revenue coming from overseas markets, we established ourselves as a trusted partner for our clients all over the world. Since its inception, CSOT has spent 15 years to grow into an influential, globally operated, and a full solution provider. I'm very proud of what the company has achieved. After I took over the CEO position two years ago, however, I have felt stressed to see the whole industry slowing down. At the same time, the entire industry is undergoing structural changes. LCD demand appears to be reaching saturation. We are also keeping a close eye on emerging technologies 
like silicon-based displays and micro-LED, which hold promise for the future. But they still have a long way to go before they become mainstream technologies. The most significant change is the sustained and rapid growth of OLED. I believe there are three key factors behind the growth of OLED. For smartphone, OLED is and will be taking the dominant position for a long time. However, for TVs, the same story hasn't happened due to its high cost. Recently, more and more people believe OLED will be the definite trend for IT products such as tablets, laptops, and monitors. However, huge investments make engaged companies stressed. The resulting high cost also hinders OLED IT products from being acceptable by ordinary consumers. Is there such a technology that combines excellent performance and a competitive cost, making high-performance IT products accessible to common people? Well, we have the answer. Today, let me introduce our IGP OLED technology to all of you. CSOT has been working on IGP OLED since 2013, when we were just starting out. We had the bold aspiration to begin research in this field. It wasn't easy. At the beginning, we faced a lot of challenges, doubts about achieving high pixel densities, image sticking, manage power consumption, size limitations, and more. But the fundamental principles and the potential benefits always made us full of confidence. Here's a short video that illustrates the fundamental principles of IGP OLED. Thank you. We, b we believe IGP OLED has a clear edge on performance and cost competitiveness compared to any existing OLED technology, which is predetermined by the fundamental principles of this technology. All we have to do is to unlock the potential with further R&D. Next. I'll go through the progress of IGP OLED in performance, cost competitiveness, and the future evolution based on the principles shown in the video. Let's start with the performance. It's crucial to the success of this technology. I'd like to highlight three breakthroughs have been made in IGP OLED image quality, power consumption, and uh, lifespan. The first breakthrough is image quality, especially the resolution and the text displayed clarity. Currently, the high-end mobile devices, especially smartphones, rely on FMM OLED, achieving pixel densities of 400 ppi 
or more. Obviously, it's over spec for medium sized devices such as tablets, laptops, and monitors, whose retina display standard respectively are 264, 254, and 218 PPI. Our printed OLED technology is free from tiny metal masks. Its resolution depends on printing heads. Initially, precision was a hurdle, but we made incredible progress with our partners. At present, our printing heads has gone from dispensing four pack liters to just one. That's about the size of 10 red blood cells. Combined with our advanced printing correction algorithms, this allows our printed OLED to achieve over 300 PPI, significantly exceeding the retina display standard from tablets to monitors. We are also adopted a perfect RGB stripe design for sharper images and the fonts. Traditional FMI OLEDs are struggling with the color fringing, especially on text display. Our side-by-side -side RGB structure eliminates this issue, delivering a crisper, clearer viewing experience. This real RGB pixel structure not only optimizes the display, but also ensures perfect compatibility with existing software and hardware. The second breakthrough is in power consumption, which was a hurdle for us initially, but we tackled it from three angles. Firstly, we optimized the materials and the device structure, essentially doubling EL material efficiency. Secondly, we minimize the light loss caused by internal reflections with smart optical design. Finally, we improve the overall light output efficiency by using a flattened pixel design and a better drawing process. This advancement means our IGP OLED now rivals FMM OLED in terms of power efficiency. The third breakthrough is product lifespan. One key advantage for IGP OLED is aperture ratio, especially at pixel densities higher than 300 PPI. Its aperture ratio became triple that of FMM OLED. By improving the performance of the bank organic materials used in printed OLED and enhancing photolithography capabilities, we can continuously expand the pixel aperture area. Here's I'd like to explain what bank means. It's a unique process of printed OLED that defines the pixel droplet area. The use of a bank combined with continuously improved material although allows printed OLED products to potentially last longer and uh, resist burn-in. Additionally, through the once lifetime compensation algorithms, we make the lifespan of IGP OLED products greatly improved, meeting or exceeding industry standards set for FMM OLED displays. In short, our IGP OLED technology offers a full range of excellent performance, including high resolution, low power consumption, and a long lifespan, making it a compelling choice for high-end, media-sized display. Furthermore, our IGP OLED provides a more competitive cost while ensuring excellent performance based on the following aspects. Firstly, material savings. Traditional FMI OLED technology only uses about 30% of its materials. IGP OLED, thanks to inkjet printing, 
deposits EL material directly onto the substrate, achieving a remarkable 90% utilization rate. That's a huge difference that translates to significant cost savings. Secondly, production advantages. Beyond the material utilization, IGP OLED features simpler production process where printing equipment requires a high precision. Its structure is significant, less complex compared to FMA OLED. Additionally, IGP OLED reduces the need for expensive vacuum chambers by 90%. This makes lower equipment investment and the manufacturing cost possible. Thirdly, flexibility. IGP OLED offers superior flexibility thanks to its FMM-free technology. This eliminates the need for fine metal masks which require design, preparation, and replacement. So it can speed up product development cycles by 30% and allows for better production, adaptability. adaptability. <coughs> Furthermore, IGP, print, IGP printing avoids the issue of gravitational deformation that annoys FMM OLED. That allows us to produce display of various sizes and pixel densities on the same substrate, giving IGP OLED production lines incredible flexibility. Finally, environmental in impact. The decreased use of EL material and the vacuum equipment for IGP OLED brings significant environmental benefits. Taking a media-sized G8.6 factory as an example, compared to FMA OLED, IGP OLED can reduce carbon emissions by 500,000 tons per year. This equals to half of all households' electricity consumption in San Jose. Over the past decades, IGP OLED has undergoing continuous refinement and achieved excellent performance. We've actively explored various applications for it. We've already reached the mass production stage for TVs with impressive demos like the groundbreaking 65-inch 8K TV demonstrating the true potential of IGP OLED. It seems that we did a good job in exploring IGP OLED in large size business, but we quickly realized an even bright future in media sized display. L tablets, laptops, and the monitors, as well as other differentiated products such as medical devices, automotive display, and more. Beyond that, we are committed to expanding the boundaries of this technology. Maybe mobile phones are next on the horizon. Seems the IGP OLED is already pretty good, but is that all? Although our IGP OLED has excellent performance and competitive cost, it is undergoing continuous evolution. Today, I'm proud to announce our latest innovation, IGP QDEL. We believe this innovation further pushes the boundaries of printed display te technical excellence. QDEL will lead the future of display. However, it is not just an emerging technology. It has gone through over 40 years. We are grateful to experts like Ba Wendy and Peng Xiaogang for their significant contribution to QD technology. Their achievements have paved the way for the application of printed 
QD year. The magic of IGP QD year it lies in swapping the luminescent layer with quantum dot materials. The innovation unlock a 12% wider color gamut, an exciting 30% reduction in power consumption, and a remarkable 50% boost in reliability. Today, we are thrilled to unveil the world's first IGP QDEL laptop display. This isn't just a concept. It's a testament to our pioneering spirit. This 14-inch 2.8K high resolution, 120 hertz high refresh rate platform delivers excellent clarity and smooth motion. But that's not all. IGP QDEL boasts a wider color gamut and ultra high contrast taking image quality to a whole new level. Additionally, thanks to inorganic material, IGP QDEL can bring significantly lower power consumption and higher reliability compared to any existing OLED technology. Want to see it for yourself? Come to our exhibition booth and witness the future of display first hand. We believe it's a revolutionary product, but to be very honest, there are still works to be done, such as positive aging, thermal stability, performance of blue QDEL material. The key challenge is the lifespan of the blue QDEL material. We need to triple it to meet product requirements. However, I'm confident the solutions are on the horizon. That's why we launched the Blue Star project with a one million US dollar award to incentivize collaboration and accelerate breakthroughs in QDEL technology. We welcome experts, universities, and a research organization to develop solutions either independently or in collaboration with CSOT to overcome these challenges. Are you the one to help, uh, to help us to unlock IGP QDEL's full potential? For more information about this project, please scan the QR code or visit our website. Nine years ago, it was right here that the founder and the chairman of TCL, Mr. Li Dongsheng, delivered a keynote speech, declared that printing display technology will become the core of the future display in industry. This vision has guided the TCL ever since. We believe that to secure our future, we must invest in it. However, the journey hasn't been easy, but we never wavered. We combined the cutting edge research with teamwork with our ecosystem partners. This spirit of collaboration be become our key to success, allowing us to overcome technical challenges one after another. We are proud of the progress we've made, and we are committed to pushing the boundaries of printed display technology even further. Go fast, go along, go far, go together. I don't believe it can be done just by ourselves. I believe the whole value chain collaboration makes success. Please join us on the inspiring joyful and the pioneering journey together. Thank you.